Should you file your taxes at the earliest possible moment or should you procrastinate, 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 file it at the last possible second before the deadline? Well, you might say that's a personal choice, a personal preference. Actually got three reasons why there is a right answer. I got that coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I am the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. So it's tax season. I have no idea when you're consuming this, but it is tax season right now. Our office is hopping. As you know, we do comprehensive financial planning. And one of the six areas of your financial life is tax planning which is identifying all of the opportunities available to you to improve your tax situation. Have you paid the least amount of tax over your lifetime? But then we also know there's the compliance. So those are the ideas, those are the recommendations, that's the advice, but then you still gotta get your taxes done. And so we do about four or 5,000 tax returns a year uh, right here with our team. And so it's busy. And so here's the question, you know, we know that unless the IRS has some sort of delay like they did last year during the pandemic, the tax filing deadline is April 15. And, and we, we ex fully expect that that's gonna be the case again this year. So do you file as early as you can? Should you file as close to April 15 as you can, what, is there a, a, a better option? Is there a right answer or a wrong answer or is it just personal choice? I mean, we all know there's people that are, you know, they're, you know, early is on time. There's some people that are just punctual by nature. And then there's some people that, you know, they don't worry if they're 15 minutes late to everything, doesn't matter, right? I'm more of five minutes early, early is on time. And so I know we are hardwired. Two of my closest best friends are, you know, 15 minutes late is right on time. So, but when it comes to your taxes, you should get your return done as soon as humanly possible. Get your return done as soon as humanly possible. Now, this is not a, you know, a, a, a self-serving recommendation. I, this is, you know, if everyone got their return to us on February 1st, we wouldn't be able to get them all done, right? The, I'm telling you this for your benefit. And there's three reasons why I think you should get your return done as soon as humanly possible. And the very first reason is the obvious one. And that is, if you're getting a refund, even if it's, if it's a thousand dollars, but certainly if it's a few grand, right? That is your money. Get it in your pocket, get it in your pocket. So file your tax return, get your return done and then say, yep, 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 this looks good. Autograph that e-file and get that refund going to you as soon as possible, right? I mean, the IRS is not paying you any interest. Even with all their delays last year during the pandemic, they said they're paying people interest. It's been a joke, right? I mean, go check out my video on, on this channel about that and look at the comments. People are just, you know, frustrated with the IRS at how long it took for them to, to issue refunds and all of that. So if you're, get, get your return done. And if you're getting a refund, file those e-files as soon as possible so you can get that that refund in your pocket. We, you have no idea when we're gonna hit a pandemic, right? You have no idea when things at the IRS are gonna face gridlock and, and refunds could be delayed. So, so get, get going, get going, get that return done and, and get that refund in your pocket. So that's the first reason, that's the obvious one. If you're getting a refund, you wanna get that money in your pocket. The second reason's not so obvious. And that is if you're getting a tax surprise, if you owe, you want to get your return done as early as possible. But then you've got all the way until April 15 to pay that. So if you owe a thousand bucks or whatever, there's no benefit to you to pay it on February 2nd versus April 15. There's really, there really isn't. It's no, it's no big deal. But the, if you owe taxes, that's your cash flow. And I would argue you want to know, even if you've been doing tax projections with my firm, even if you've been doing tax planning and you know, yeah, I'm gonna owe 3,500 bucks, I know I'm, figure that out, do your return as early as possible so that you can know, all right, is it 3,500 or did it turn out to be 4,500 or 45,000, right? So you can figure out your cash flow and you can plan accordingly. So even if you're going to owe, I would still get your tax return done as early as possible. Then it's up to you. 
I mean, you can file that thing if you, if you go through it with your CFP and your CPA and you say, yep, this thing is right. There's no planning adjustments that we need to make. This thing's right. I owe X amount. All right, let's sign the e-files. You can even file it right away. You, but you still have until April 15 to make the payment, right? Or if you say, yeah, okay, now that I know the number, I can plan for that cash flow and then we'll sign the e-files and file later in April. That's fine. That's fine. But I'd still, even if you owe, just in case it's a big tax surprise, get that return done as early as possible. Doesn't mean you need to pay as early as possible. Get the return done as early as possible. So that's the second reason. That one's less obvious. Most people think, eh, I'm gonna owe, no big deal, I'll just wait. I'd be planning for cash flow, right? So that you know, so that you know if you've got to come up with an extra 500 bucks or an extra five grand to pay the IRS. All right, now that's the second reason. The third reason's the most obscure. Coming up, I've got a video about the IRS, uh, you know, tax scammers out there. There's tons of them. And in the pandemic, that's just increased. Sadly, sadly, there is just a large, I mean, millions of people are out of work and struggling financially. It could be you. And, and unfortunately, that desperation can sometimes lead people to make some, some really bad choices. And so IRS scams and, and tax scams are on the rise. Now, this is gonna sound bizarre, but um, I, like I said, we do thousands of tax returns here every year and inevitably there's a, you know, a handful, maybe two, maybe three every single year that we go through and prepare the taxes for the client. We go through everything, yep, it all looks right, everything's accurate, okay, autograph here, these e-files, we go to submit them and the IRS rejects them and says there was already a tax return filed for, under this social security number. So sometimes that's innocent because you go to claim a child and your, your ex-spouse claimed that child or the, sp the child's in college and they went ahead and filed a tax return themselves. So sometimes it's innocent miscommunication within the family. But, uh, but most of the time when that happens, it's because a fraudster went out and filed a fake tax return under someone's social security number and got in line ahead of you. And now all of a sudden you can't file another e-file because someone's already filed one. And what that does is that means you've got to come back in the office, you've got to print out paper copies, you've got to write an explanation as to why you're not e-filing. And then you need to hope that someone you know, didn't completely um, take your identity. You got to go through all sorts of hoops, okay? And it's, I, I'll tell you, it's, it's, a, it's a mess. It is a disaster. I, I haven't gone through it personally, but one of the first times this happened, maybe 10 years ago, right when this became, started becoming a thing, my folks, happened to my folks. And they were getting a big refund at the time. And we, you know, we were waiting until, I don't know, early March to file a return. And ever since that moment, that experience, my folks have said, we don't want a big refund. We're shooting to break even every year. In fact, I'll owe a little bit because I don't want the IRS sitting on my money and have some fraudster cut in line and try and you know, keep that money that is technically mine, uh, you know, delay it from getting into my pocket. And then second, we file early every year. We try to file by mid-February every single year. And so, because you have no idea. Yes, you can prevent, you can do everything possible to prevent um, your identity being stolen. However, um, there, unfortunately, there's just a lot of folks out there that are, um, that are playing this game and trying to defraud the government. They're not trying to defraud you. Um, because you know they, they're trying to defraud the government. They're not taking your refund, they're filing a return, a completely fake return under your social security number trying to steal money from the IRS. But still, it's just awful, it's an awful experience. So the sooner you file your return, I, I would say the less chance that someone then would file a fraudulent return under your social security number. I know that's obscure, but go through it once and you'll realize, yeah, that maybe, maybe I should, maybe that's another reason. Maybe it's not as important as the others, but that's another reason to not delay and get your return done as early as possible. So, um, so there, there you have it. I mean, we're all hardwired to, to have our approach to time and deadlines, our own individual approach to time or deadlines. And I'm not trying to argue or change any, you know, your preference, that's fine. I don't care, but when it comes to your taxes, there is a reason to get your taxes prepared as early as possible. So as soon as you're ready, 
collect your documents. We now use an, an application called Tax Caddy that allows you to, um, to just take pictures of documents as you have them. You don't even need to scan them in. I mean, you can, you can scan them in or you can, you know, put them all in the mail and you can come drop them off. It's fine. But I mean, to me, how I did it, I just took a picture of each one and it tells you exactly what it is. Very, very easy. And so if, if organizing things or just getting around to it, or I've got to gather everything and then find a way to get over to the office, if that's caused you to delay, to delay getting your taxes done, there are legitimate reasons why you want to get your return done as soon as possible. Use the Tax Caddy app, use an efficient system and get your return done. What's more important than getting it done on time is doing tax planning, finding those creative ideas to improve, improve your tax situation. Work with your CFP and your CPA on that. If you don't have one, you can reach out to my team. Find us online, corhorn.com. That's corhorn with the K, wisemoneyshow.com. Find us there as well or send us an email, info at corhorn.com. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.